What's going on guys? My name is Doug or Always On Board and you're looking for a video that teaches you how to create a GIF and this is the video that you want to see. It's very detailed and this is what you're looking for, I hope. So the first thing I'm going to show you is uh, drop a video into Adobe Photoshop CS6 and uh, as you can see the timeline comes up to animate and this is a little video that I got from Video Copilot. Okay, so I'm going to go over here to about two frames and that's where I want to start and you take this little slider on the sides here and you bring them into where you'd like the final product video to be. So from two frames to four frames, and you just scrub through that, and that's gonna be your video. And then uh, I'm gonna apply text to this. So we're gonna apply text, and I'm gonna put always on board. So I'm gonna come over here and deselect the layer, bring that up, hit T for the uh, type tool or text tool, whatever you wanna call it. It's gonna say outer zone, and that's the font I'm using. And I'm gonna type in always. And then I'm gonna use the move tool to position it where I'd like it to start. And then I'm gonna hit T again and put I'm. And then I'm gonna move it again to where I want it and then type in board again. Okay, so it says always on board and if that doesn't stand out from the background, you can choose a different color or you can just apply a basic drop shadow. So I'm not gonna go into uh, making this look too good, just gonna apply the, the drop shadow that comes with it with the default settings. Okay, so it says always on board and the goal here is to create a video where the background is moving and it says always on board and it loops over and over and over. Okay, so we're gonna dr uh, drag always to the very beginning where the video would start and we're gonna make it a uh, smaller section of the video so that it f like flashes in. And then we're gonna go to uh, I'm, which is gonna be next, so it goes always I'm. And then we're gonna drag this in to about the same size as this one so that you have it to where it's pretty much the same time for always I'm board. So bring board over, do the same thing. So from here, it's always on board, always on board. And you can do other things, like you can come over here to always, and you can do opacity settings, and then go up a few frames, and then you can put a key for, uh, keyframe again. And so the first one could be at a zero opacity, and then the next one could be at 100. So if you hit play over here, it slowly fades in. You can do that for each of them, but since I don't wanna go too far into it, I'm going to uh, delete these by clicking the stopwatch. That clears the whole row of keyframes, and I'm gonna bring this back up, so now from here, what you're gonna wanna do is you're gonna want to make it to where it loops forever and you wanna save it for a website or a banner or whatever it is you're gonna use it for. You come up here to File, and then you go to Save for Web. Okay, and it might take a while to load depending on how large the file is. Mine's only a few frames, so it should be good. And uh, you can use these settings right here, GIF Adaptive Diffusion. And uh, for this transparency option, if you unclick that, let's see, like if I was to have just always on board flashing in and no background, I'd click this so that um, there wasn't any transparency. So that you can see through it and there's not a white background or anything. But we're gonna have that clicked because uh, we have a background. And then all this is the same. And down here, if you wanna loop it forever, it says looping options once. We're gonna go forever. And let's say we wanted to do it a few times. You go over to other and you can change it to where it plays through it three times and then it never plays again but uh, you probably want it to go forever, so you click on forever, and I said forever three times, but here we go. We're gonna click on save, and I'm gonna put derp, save that to the desktop, uh, format is images only, settings, default settings, click on save, and down here you can see that it's saving. Here we go, and before we leave this and I show you, if you guys wanna get rid of this timeline, because after you're done with the actual edit, this timeline's gonna be right here, you just go to window, down here to timeline, and then it's gone. All right, so then we're gonna get out of Photoshop because it's gonna be on my desktop as a derp. We're gonna put that on Dexter's forehead, and then we're gonna open up a Safari or any web browser that you use, and then we're gonna drag that in, and then it's gonna play through. <clears throat> so I hope you guys like this video. My name is Duggar, always on board. If you like it, I'll love you forever, and I hope that this answered all your questions. A lot of people have asked me to show this. Um, I didn't get too far into detail when it comes to making the best quality video. I'm just showing you that it is possible and I'm trying to answer your questions that you've asked me. So go ahead and rate the video and subscribe and stay, stay around for some other videos and check out the two videos at the end of this video for more tutorials. My name is Doug, you're always on board again and I will talk to you later. So I hope you liked the video. Go ahead and check out the two videos in front of you. The video on the left seems to be everyone's favorite where I teach them how to use the pen tool. It's very detailed and has about 7,000 views as of right now so people really find it useful. And the video on the right is how to change undo preferences so that you can go back more than once or three times or 20 times. You can go as many times as you want. 
and uh, click on that Photoshop playlist button that's on the bottom of the two videos. That takes you to all of the videos that I have made for Photoshop. So I hope you guys like this video, and I will talk to you guys later.